across the globe, the need for water data is constantly increasing to address extreme events such as floods and droughts. You cannot manage what you cannot measure. Flood and drought warnings depend on the availability of water data and information. Such data supports decision-making in water resources management that can prevent conflicts. The need for water data and information has been recognised at the highest political level with the formation of the High Level Panel on Water and the High Level Panel on Water and Peace, both recommending special attention on water data. Water is one of the 17 goals of the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. 2018 has marked its place on the World Meteorological Organization's Water Agenda for multiple reasons. The Hydro Conference in May clearly outlined the need to reinforce water data availability and the provision of hydrological products and services for decision and policy making in water resources management, as well as for the pursuit of peace. At Water Day during the WMO Executive Council in June, the opening speech of the late Kofi Annan underscored this issue. I am confident that water, if sustainably managed across sectors and societies, has the power to build trust between communities and contribute to wider issues of peace and development. The WMO is the United Nations entity responsible for operational hydrology. Its technical expertise, efficiency and partnerships permit its members to respond to these challenges. Three complementary action-oriented initiatives have been put in place to address the collection of data, the provision of products and services and the support to decision-making. Let us have a closer look at how these three initiatives support the water data value chain from end to end. As the first step in the value chain, the Global Hydrometry Support Facility. The Global Hydrometry Support Facility, also called the WMO Hydro Hub, aims at expanding and sustaining the base of water data by improving hydrological monitoring systems in the world. Innovation, sustainable results and free and open data exchange are at the core of its activities. As a second step, the WMO Global Hydrological Status and Outlook System, also called Hydro SOS, uses available water data to develop products and services that provide information on the current hydrological status on where the status is significantly different from normal and where this is likely to get worse over coming weeks and months. The World Water Data Initiative's vision is for everyone to have access to good, reliable data to improve decision making. Used effectively, the initiative will ensure better decisions around water use, especially on transboundary basins. A strong and dedicated commitment to the Water Data and Peace Agenda is essential to catalyse the necessary financial and technical resources for action. Join and engage with us, governments, private sector, civil society and academia. Let's make our future sustainable. <laughs>